Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Saturday, and that means I am using U Belt and Vectors. So, keeping you guys updated on how the next great Yu Gi Tuber thing is going, I'm not very confident that I'm going to make it to the next round. I'll, I'll pretty much do a video and tell you guys uh, that I didn't make it or whether I did make it or not to the next round, but I'm just not feeling uh, very confident. Uh, pretty much, uh, I can't get any more likes, so, you know. Even if you guys, you know, up and decided like, hey, we want to help out you on Mastery to our full build, our full mountain, we want to run over there and we want to like the Shadows video, it really would serve no purpose because I've hit my light cap and uh, it, it's really, it's really unfair if you actually look at it um, that not only uh, do I reach a light cap before, you know, all the other people that are new upload, but I'm long in, I'm long forgotten. I'm like, I was number two at a 33, so I was long forgotten. So I reached my light cap without anybody even remembering me. I couldn't even get a last hurrah or anything. He didn't, you know, do any work such as, um, you know, you know, doing a reminder to people being like, hey, remember this guy? Go ahead and, you know, help him out. And he's been a little bit in the past. So, like I said, it's just kind of unfair that I'm I'm pretty much just gonna get dropped out and I have no control of what's gonna happen I can't you know I can't be like oh look I go here and get on my video I can't do it I can't do it there's no possible way of me you know being able to help myself out because I can't do anything so all I have to do is just sit here helplessly as people whose videos are newer than mine uh, get more likes than mine, and I simply just lose and go away without a uh, a little whimper. <laughs> so definitely sucks, but you know what can you do? I tried my best. That's all I could ask for. I mean, it just kind of sucks. I won't be able to make it to the next round. Kind of sucks that I can all I have to do all I can do is helpless sit here and helplessly wait as I don't make it. And there's nothing I can do, but. Uh, I tried my best, you know, it was a great opportunity, it was a great offer for him to go ahead and, you know, uh, offer this opportunity to me, so I'm very appreciative, I reached one of my goals that I've always wanted to reach, I was over a thousand subscribers, so I'm really appreciative of that as well, so, overall, I'm not upset, it just kind of sucks that I, you know, it's a big popularity contest that, you know, if you don't have the supporters and then you're not going anywhere and it really does suck because when you can compare the bigger people in the competition to the lower people in competition if you make it a big popularity contest then you know clearly the bigger guys are going to win you know you have one guy in the competition who's you know supported by you know Nim Nim who's who's just you know been on a whole bunch of other big Yuki 2 channels you got the RJB0 you know who's definitely been uh just you know getting up there on the channel so you know, overall, yes. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> so you know, there's just a ton of people who are just blatantly just bigger than you. <laughs> but uh, there's just not much you can do, and, and you know, it's just kind of sucks that my video got uploaded early. You know. So, I will keep you guys updated, and, you know, when the time comes, I'll probably just create a whole separate video and just pretty much state that I didn't make it to the next round. And, just, you know, despite my content being great, despite me working hard on my channel, in the end, it was just a really big popularity contest that I just couldn't win. So, we'll just go ahead and keep that in mind. But I love the alls, so thank you for, you know, taking the time to go ahead and like that video, you know. Uh, I'm not as popular as others, so, you know, I just did as much as I could, I, I posted on the Facebook, told my friends in real life, of course I told you guys, uh, wow, I hit the mirror force again, so, <laughs> so really, that's, that's, you know, sometimes that's all I can do, right? So, as you can see, I actually put, uh, Zek Calibrun, because I'm just gonna test it out, you know, and I also have one Gigaman test, so I pretty much went back to just, you know, regular Insector format, you know. I'm getting a little bit wiser with the deck, so, you know, I'm starting to realize what works and what doesn't work, even despite me having a whole bunch of Dark Griffers, you know, those, those, uh, those Zek Cal, I mean, those Gigaman tests were clogging, so, yeah. Oh, yep. I 
sure. I was kind of thinking that. I was kind of thinking that one of his face-down cards was a was a reckless. Still a really great card. Really great card. You know, because people are like, oh, well, you draw two, but then you don't get the Charles next two. The thing is, even if even if you get one. Oh, okay. You want to MST? Okay, fine. That's fine. That's fine. Then even if you get one, it's still just really, really great. Because now he's two whole turns. He's two whole turns ahead of what he would have been. So, for all we know, he may he would have got this with nothing, but this is actually really good. So, he's all two, uh, two turns ahead, which is definitely, you know, great, something great to be in, so, you know. Um, you know, for all I know, he drew Gores or something along those lines. So, still a really great card. At one, it would still be a really great card, but at three, where, of course, it stacks, oh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful card. Not a beautiful, beautiful card, a brokey, brokey, brokey card, but... What you gonna do? Alright. Go ahead and overlay these two into you. I don't have any banished cards, so there's no point going to that. Go ahead and get my effect. I will detach you. Then I will go ahead and put you on you. And send an MST and pass you. You're probably wondering, like, why'd you do that? Because next time I can go equip Hornet, unequip Hornet, pop this. This will bring back this. That's usually what I do when, you know, Dragonfly serves purpose while on the field. I like to go until I can exceed play. So just so I can make sure Dragonfly gets in the grave. So he's got three cards, and he still can't drop for next turn. So, you know, it just depends on when you play. Like, if you're up on resources, then you just get more up on resources. If you're down on resources and you're in a hole, you might as well play it so you can see two turns later and see that if you can get out of something two turns later. So overall, you know, overall just... Uh, the power of Reckless Grief is just a really powerful card, but, you know, maybe you know, guys don't agree with me. In my opinion, I just think it's a really great card, so. And it's so cheap. It's so cheap. It's like 25 cents. I know I, I picked me up a play set, so, yeah. <sighs> so. That's all I had to say. Like I said, thank you, thank you for all the support. You know, I, I would be, I'd be nothing. I would be nowhere without you guys. But I'm, I'm just kind of disappointed. The, the whole structure and how the whole next great Yu Gi Oh thing, it's, it's really flawed. It really is. It's still a ton of holes in the plan. And, you know, this is the third season, and you'd think that you know, uh, you know, Underworld would figure out what works and what doesn't, but not really. Uh, you know, no offense to Underworld or anything like that, but he's, 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 he's just too lazy. In my opinion, he's just too lazy to be doing the competition. He's, he's too lazy to be hosting the competition. That's just my opinion. I don't mean to insult him. I don't mean to insult any, you know, an Underworld fans, but he's just too lazy, in my opinion, to be doing the competition, where he doesn't want to put in the extra effort, the extra work. Uh, he's, it's really just a big popularity contest where he just sits back and relax and lets everybody else do the work you know all he has to do is take the video and upload it he doesn't you know when he was doing the whole you know uh 32 announcement uh, all he did was just recycle the same audio clip you know and they said you know uh you know all right <laughs> You know, and, 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 and they said in this audio clip, it's the same audio clip, said congratulations to this guy, even though there's there's a girl in the competition, he didn't even, you know, create a custom one for her either, so, you know, it said congratulations to this man, yet it's a girl, so, because he was so lazy, he couldn't even, you know, create a custom one, he couldn't even announce the individual's names, you know, he couldn't, you know, give us all individual congratulations and props or anything like that along those lines, he was too lazy to do that, his hand is shitty, uh, Let's see, I run at one, I run at one, I run at one, I run at one, so eh, he's starting to see it now. Yeah. So it's the damn clock tower just sit there and twiddle your fingers, huh? Ugh. I can't I can't do anything with this hand. Nope, I can't do anything with this hand. I got 
I got Dragonfly, I just don't have, uh, you know, you know, my, uh, my Hornet in the grave, which is also a card that I run at one, if you guys are just wondering. So I'm actually going to go ahead and set the debris so he can, you know, hopefully I'll take the debris and then I'll be able to see. Nope, nope, uh, nope, no, I'm not. Uh... God, this sucks right now. Why is my hand so goddamn shitty? You know? So goddamn shitty. Why? Hopper, okay. That's awesome. And then this guy is completely unaffected by spells. And this guy can just straight up negate my spells. Yeah, he might have me. Unless I get like an Armageddon Knight or something, he'll probably have me because I can't do shit right now. Oh, I can't take any attacks. I can't activate the Dark Hall, which I would lower. I can, but you just negate it. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a conundrum now. I'm glad I opened up so shitty that I can't even beat a Horus deck. This is sad. I got pot. Armageddon Knight. No. Armageddon Knight. No. Armageddon Knight. God damn it! Come on! Oh, he can negate that, actually. He can negate that. He can negate that, my bad. No, I'm just gonna quit. I got nothing. I got fucking nothing. Thank you, DN. Thank ya. I got nothing. I couldn't do nothing. Where are my Dark Ruffers, my Armageddon Knights, huh? Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be fucking found. That was just... I wasn't even <laughs> entertaining it at all. I couldn't do shit. I got my ass beat by a level up deck because I couldn't play shit. That's better. Like Dragonfly again, but at least I got, you know, Armageddon Knight. Where were you last duel? Last duel, we would have been okay. We could have probably done something, but last duel, come on. You guys are supposed to be my homies. You guys are supposed to be there for me. And you weren't. I wanted to cry. You know, what are you, limited to one? <laughs> yeah, in the OCG you are. So instead of oh god, I popped his cherry. Oh god, I popped your cherry. Ah, <laughs> uh, he got the humor. <laughs> so are you going to tribute it for Bamboo Shoe? No, oh, one for one. I mean, my deck is predominantly effects anyway, so... At least it's not too terrible. No, oh, that's fine. Why is one for one called one for one when it's actually an egg? <laughs> it's actually an egg. <laughs> it's like one for two. If they really wanted to make one for one, you'd just be able to play it and summon a level one from your deck. That'd be one for one. Yeah. yeah. You're good. It's just MST. He still has a normal summon this turn, so if he wants to go ahead and normal summon, he can. I know you're gonna do something more than just summon formula. I know you got something else. 
Come on. Honest. You're gonna sink with honest? Okay. Did not see that coming. You're gonna sink with honest. Honestly, he synced with honest. He sunk? Sunk? Alright, so you attack, so I take, what, 600? 800, 800. 800, and then I take half my attack, so 800. Great, I didn't need him setting to 1, and I would've been okay. What the fuck is that? It's like one piece of monster opponent control, you have a circle, I'm gonna show you. If you synchro summon this turn, you can use one of the can, uh, Okay. What the, what the fuck is that? I summon. Dragonfly. Is that okay? <coughs> In fact, I would go ahead and equip Hornet. Effects. Effects. Multiple effects. Detach pop. And then I will go ahead and summon one of my insectors, which will of course would be centipede. And oh, woo! That's good. Oh, not effects. Effect. But it will be effects. Effects. Pop that and go ahead and search for. Of course, I will be getting myself a uh, Gigamantis. I won't be equipping, because I'm actually going to equip next turn to like a centipede. I'm actually going to XC you with these two. So it's stronger to attack with these two than it is to go ahead and uh, do it with uh, Leviathan, or, Le or whatever his name is. Yeah, Leviathan. I get Le Leviathan and Levier mixed up, because they both start with Lev. Go ahead. You know, because... I feel like it's better to whip out a 25 beater than just leave Dragonfly on the field to get eaten because it's only a thousand attack. But that's just me personally. So what's he gonna do? Oh shit. Junk. So, what are you gonna grab? Formula? No, you're gonna grab that. Sink for four? What's a four? Armory arm? That new dragon guy? Armory arm. Alright. Okay. That's totally fine. Okay. Yeah, I, I really don't care. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll just handle this. So, we'll summon Hopper. We'll equip Gigamantis. We'll get his effect. We will go ahead and equip Hornet. Hornet's effect. We'll get rid of Gigamantis. Giga effect. We'll bring... Oh, we can remove this. Oop, hold on. Remove this. We will bring back Dragonfly, Effect, we will equip Hornet, Effect, unequip that, pop your Mist Body, we'll go ahead and summon Centipede, Effect, we'll go ahead and equip, Effects, we'll go ahead and unequip and destroy your Armory Arm, then we will go ahead and get me the sword. And then we will activate it and put it on him. And then we'll go for a thousand. Sixteen. Twenty-five. End game. 
Whew. All right. Well, that was easy. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. So I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, thank you guys for all the support. I would be nowhere without you guys. And I love you, so thank you. But like I said, I probably won't make it to the next round. So if you're looking forward to me making it any farther the next great YouTube for this season, I apologize. I probably won't. If I do, then great. But if I don't, then I have no regrets. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Shadal Bell. Yeah. Thanks for watching.